Hello everyone. Today we brought you a different kind of superhero movie called Archenemy. You may recognize the actor from the first Spider-Man movie. Before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe for more recap like this. Also join our Patreon channel for unblurred scenes. The movie begins with an animated sequence, introducing our main character Max Fist. He is narrating his backstory. He was a powerful hero in his dimension called Chromium. In flashbacks, his cosmic battle against Cleo, which resulted in him being thrown through a portal to Earth. Here, he lost all his powers and ended up as a homeless alcoholic in a normal city. The animation ends and we get live action, showing Max Fist in a bar, explaining about his lost powers to anyone who will listen. He is telling his story to a stranger. The stranger asks if he still has his superpowers. The strangers at the bar do not believe him and think he is just an alcoholic talking rubbish. Later, Max leaves the bar and tries to find something to eat in the trash, but finds nothing. Meet Hamster, a teenager who is filming everyone in the city to get a story. He wants to be a journalist. He arrives at a building which is headquarters of a social media company called Trendable. Inside the office, Hamster interacts with his boss Melissa. Hamster shows her a video of the illegal dealers, but she is not impressed. She challenges Hamster to bring in more compelling stories to boost their platform's views, and if it works, she promises to get him promotion. The next scene introduces us to a young girl called Indigo. She walks into the bar where her manager is seated at the table in the corner. Yes, I am going to call him manager because that's what Google says. Indigo goes over to him and they begin talking about their illegal substance trading business. Indigo provided him with some ideas that would make their business more profitable. But he reminds her that he also answers to higher authority above him. He tells her that his big boss wants stability as well as smooth operations on their current territory before any sudden movement. He gives her a task that includes collecting a package from a guy named Krieg. Hamster arrives in the house while Indigo was cooking. Turns out they are siblings. Upon asking where he was, Hamster responds that he's been out making his way in the world. Indigo sees photos of dealers on the Hamster's phone and warns him not to get involved in this business. It's too dangerous. But the Hamster tells her that he wanted to become reporter and publish a story about these people. Just like his father. Indigo wanted him to go to college, so she is saving money for it. Later, Indigo served him a dish which is called Spirulina balls. Yeah, I don't think anyone is going to eat that. So, the Hamster gets some food outside. While going home, he sees Max in the alley. Max is punching the wall and getting angry about his lost powers. He used to punch through space and time and now he can barely break the wall. Hamster takes photos of him but Max didn't like it. Hamster announces that he is a journalist and he knows about him as he heard his conversation in the bar earlier. He wants to get Max's story out. But Max runs away from him. Hamster follows him, finding out that he is lying on the ground later. He tries to help him with advice to go with him to the hospital. But Max claims that the doctor won't be able to understand his biology. He gives him water, but Max ignores him and leaves again. Hamster has enough information on Max now and he writes a story about him. He called it Max Fist the Cosmic Crusader and posted it online. Next morning, we see a few flashbacks from Max's memory as he wakes up in the middle of nowhere. Max finally agrees to share his story with Hamster. That's what I'm talking about. But he had one condition. He wants food and whiskey in exchange for his story. Hamster agrees with him. Max explains that he is from Chromium City which is in another dimension. In that dimension, he is a powerful hero named Deathstroke. Wait, it's the DC Universe and he is a villain there and not a hero. I am talking about another dimension. Yeah, this one, where he fought against evil forces and protected his city with his abilities. Max also explains that his source of power does not exist in this dimension. Without his powers, he is just a drunk alcoholic here. He says he got his powers from cosmic blood which comes from a cosmic source which is actually black hole the size of 12 billion suns hovering above the edge of his universe. You don't understand. Hamster finds his story interesting. We get another animated sequence where we see his superhero origin. He was a military agent who lost his arm in battle. He finds a crystal cave where cosmic blood chooses him and restores his hand. We also see a glimpse of his archenemy named Cleo. Hamster thinks he is bluffing and he asks him where are the places he mentioned in the story which makes Max angry as he thinks Hamster doesn't believe him. Max then finds his superhero costume and wears it. In another animated sequence we see him giving a speech in Chromium City and declaring his loyalty as protector of the city. People of Chromium City are cheering for him in front of his big statue. Let's talk about Indigo's plot now. She goes to Krieg as an assignment from her manager. The man was completely wasted so he offered her some medicine. You know that special medicine. But she refuses. He then pulls a revolver and asks her to play Russian roulette. She gets scared but starts anyway. Okay, it doesn't turn out well for the man. In this panic moment, she tries to erase her fingerprints from the weapon and jumps out of the window to escape the scene. 
since someone was knocking the door. Also, she took a bag of money from him. As Max was drawing circles on the ground, we see another animated sequence where Cleo, the archenemy of Max, explains why she created a void machine and destroyed Max. It was just a dream, but Max realizes that Cleo is in the same universe as him. Indigo's boss gets the news about Indigo's last delivery. His men show him a police report which he forces him to eat. He tells his men to bring her. On the other hand, story of Max Fist is getting popular. Hamster suggests he fight crime in this world, as he did in his own world. Max tells him he can't do that, but at the same moment a man in the car hits the trash can. Max throws some trash at him, which made the car owner angry and he tried to hit him. Hamster records the scene as he gets his another story which he calls Max Fist vs. Car. The manager's man arrives at Indigo's location and tries to investigate her. Hamster arrives and those thugs find the money she stole from the creek. At the last moment, Max arrives at the scene and fights those thugs and saves them. They escape in a car. After this intense fight, we can see that Max is clearly losing his mind. Later, Hamster and Indigo get in an argument. Max stops them by shooting a bullet in the air. Indigo wants to leave but Max wants them to stay here and fight the war. He tells Hamster that he got his back. They went to an abandoned mall to spend the night. In the mall, Indigo shares how she cares for his brother and cries because she got them into this mess. Max assures her that he will protect them both. He wears his superhero costume and investigates Indigo's manager. Later, Hamster suggests he leave the past behind and focus on the present. As a result, Max decides to let go of his past by burning his costume and wearing a new outfit, which is kind of similar to Punisher from Marvel Comics. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. He also gives him his costume with written H on it. He gives him a tracking device so Max will always know his location. Later, Hamster gets scared when he sees Max taking some medicine and punching through walls again. He says that he can see another dimension through the hole, which was true for him but Hamster explains to him that it is just another room. They all decide to attack manager's base. They burn his warehouse and Max fights some of his men. They decide to attack the manager. In the fight scene with one of the bodyguards, Max gets defeated. As he was going to be executed, Indigo arrives and shoots him. They let him go, but gunshots were fired from the manager's office. When Max enters the room, he sees the manager is leaving in a fancy sports car. Hamsters notice bodies everywhere. He realizes that he is going down the wrong path. On the other hand, Max finds a futuristic device from the manager's office which has a symbol on it. Max tells Hamster that they need to eliminate the manager and he is working with his archenemy, Cleo. He saw her when the manager escaped. But now the Hamster doesn't believe him and tells him that he is losing his mind. He needs to stop this madness. He leaves with his sister. We see another flashback where Max's statue was torn down and Cleo was in the tower calling for him. We see the same symbol on the back of the tower indicating that Max is telling the truth all the time. Hamster and Indigo went separate ways. While on the road, Hamster gets a call from his boss Melissa. She tells him that the Hamster got a promotion because of his story about Max Fist and her boss likes to talk to you. Strangely, she knows where Hamster is going to be and she arrives to pick him up. Later, the manager says thanks to her boss, who is revealed to be Cleo. She explained to him that she wanted to be the greatest scientist in the world. She used to work on fabric of 11 dimensions but ended up building weapons and robots to stop only one man. Meanwhile, Melissa arrives there with Hamster. In the background, we can see the Hamster is getting attacked and in the foreground, Cleo shoots Melissa. Max is on his way since he is tracking Hamster's location. He arrives at the location, triggering another flashback sequence. As he enters the tower, he is greeted by Cleo. She created the Void Machine, which Max calls a weapon. Cleo explains that upon detonating the Void Machine, it will disrupt the cosmic source itself, which will take down hyperhuman powers of everyone, including her. He runs towards her and they both fall off the tower. Indigo also wakes up and finds out about the situation through a letter left by Hamster. Max finds Cleo and Hamster. The manager asks Max to drop the gun. He is angry at him since Max disrupted his business. But he is stopped by Cleo. She asks him to look into Indigo who arrives at the tower. She revealed that her void machine worked. Meanwhile, Indigo was attacked by her manager. But she manages to take him down. But she got wounded by bullets fired by her manager. On the other hand, Cleo asks Max to tell the truth in front of Hamster. The truth is Cleo was Max's wife. He was the hero of Chromium City but his rage and violence destroyed the entire city. She shoots Max, revealing his blue blood. They both laugh. What happened was since they were both out of this world, their body works differently when they interact, revealing their true nature from their original universe. They both arrived in this dimension six years ago. Cleo built this empire while thinking how she can hurt Max when they meet. Max grabs the opportunity and again runs towards her. They both again fell from the tower. Indigo is hurt from the battle with her manager. 
she crawls towards Max and touches his blood, which is actually a cosmic blood that gives her powers. She starts flying and Hamster watches from the window. Movie ends with Max lying on the ground and Hamster narrating his story about a new superhero named Splash. In a distance, Agent Coulson from S.H.I.E.L.D. calls Nick Fury and says, So, we found it. You got that right? It was an Avengers reference. People like when I make some Avenger or Nick Fury jokes, or whatever. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more movies like this.